Rand Paul and Rachel Maddow are having a little bit of a feud. So what happened is Rand Paul went to uh, some event with, you know, far right-wing crazy people and he was giving a speech about abortion. And uh, in the middle of his speech, he was using all these different references to talk about how, you know, the bigger the state gets, the worse it is. And uh, he talked about a movie in his speech. The movie uh, is called Gattaca. It's from 1997. And uh, Rachel Maddow found out something kind of interesting. She went to Wikipedia and read about Gattaca and found out that Rand Paul essentially plagiarized his speech from there. So let me let Rachel do some talking and then we'll come back and I'll explain it further. In the movie Gattaca, the not too distant future, eugenics is common and DNA plays the primary role in determining your social class. The weird thing about that line from Senator Paul's speech today, in the not too distant future, eugenics is common and DNA plays a primary role in determining your social class, is that that line appears almost verbatim in the Wikipedia entry on Gattaca. Quote, in the not too distant future, liberal eugenics is common and DNA plays the primary role in determining social class. Hey, that's what Rand Paul said. And it looks like it's not a coincidence. Check this out. This is a little bit later in the Wikipedia entry. It's a description of the plot line of Gattaca. Due to frequent screening, Vincent faces genetic discrimination and prejudice. The only way he can achieve his dream of becoming an astronaut is to become a borrowed ladder. That's Wikipedia. Now here's Rand Paul today. Due to frequent screenings, Vincent faces genetic discrimination and prejudice. The only way he can achieve his dream of being an astronaut is he has to become what's called a borrowed lab. Rand Paul's speech today on Gattaca was totally ripped off of Wikipedia. Okay, so she makes her point uh, fairly clearly. Now let's listen to Rand Paul's response. And so, as a journalist, I, I have to ask you this question. MSNBC accused you of plagiarism on Monday. They, <laughs> they accused you of stealing four lines from Wikipedia from, for your speech at Liberty University. So is this true? Yeah. I mean, what they're saying that, that you <laughs> borrow lines from a Wikipedia entry about the movie Gattaca. Uh, so it, what happened? Yeah, we did. And I, I let did? people know that, the well, we, we, we borrowed the plot lines from Gattaca. It's a movie. And I gave credit to the people who wrote the movie. I also borrowed lines from Ray Bradbury and gave him credit as well. I think they're arguing about whether or not things are properly footnoted, and uh, there are technicalities to this, but uh, nothing I said was not given attribution to where it came from. I talked about a movie, Gattaca. It is a copyrighted movie by the screenwriters, and I gave every bit of credit to where that plot line came from. The rest but of it's making a mountain out of a molehill from people I think basically who are political enemies and have an ax to grind. Okay, so there you go. You get both sides of the issue. And uh, Rachel Maddow also came out again and called his position incoherent and accused Rand Paul of not knowing what plagiarism uh, means. So I've, uh, I actually watched the first time Rachel talked about this live. And then now, you know, we've, it's been a couple days since then. And I've let this, because I, I was thinking about talking about it before, but I said, you know what, let me not talk about it yet. Let me wait to see how it unfolds. And so I finally, I have a conclusion on this. Yeah, I don't really agree with Rachel. Shocking, shocking, right? No. Uh, look, here's why. If, if you listen to uh, Rand Paul's speech again, what he says at the beginning is in the movie Gattaca. And then he, and then he does, quote, almost verbatim, bar maybe one or two words changed here or there, from the Wikipedia page, and it's only like, you know, three or four lines. So what? Now, look, uh, does Rachel have a point that, hey, if you want to actually be more specific, you should say, from, uh, from Gattaca, quote, and then you go through it, right? Or you say, from the movie Gattaca, uh, as the Wikipedia page describes, and you get a little laugh line in the audience, and then you can describe it. Look, Rachel's right in the sense that, yes, he should have done, went ab about it that way. But when, we, when I think of plagiarism, when you think of plagiarism, number one, you think of absolutely no attribution, right? And he did do a little bit of attribution by saying, hey, it's, this is the plot of the movie Gattaca, and he just described it almost exactly like it's described in Wikipedia. But I think of, like, somebody writing an academic paper and stealing somebody else's idea and not attributing it to that person. Dude, he's just describing the plot of a fucking shitty movie. Who cares? Who cares? It's, but it, look, here's the thing, because Rachel Maddow is very smart, and I think she's one of the best MSNBC hosts, and, and I think I agree with her probably 
90% of the time. Maybe sometimes she's a little bit more yay, yay team Democrat than I am, but she's really smart. My point is, I think there's so many more important and interesting things to talk about. And look, there's two more points to add to this. Number one, if you make the point that, hey, Rand Paul is essentially getting away with uh, plagiarizing or a version of plagiarizing. Meanwhile, other politicians on the left have gotten hammered and almost had their political careers destroyed for doing similar things. Then I hear you and then I agree with you because that's true. That, uh, you know, Democratic politicians like semi-plagiarized also like Rand did here. And then, you know, they had to go into the wilderness for a while. Joe Biden is one example, even though in Joe Biden's case, he actually didn't plagiarize. There's a long story behind that. I don't want to get into that. Uh, and she's saying it's unfair that there's a double standard. Republicans don't get punishment. Democrats do get punishment. On that point, uh, I agree with her. But I think the difference is I don't think either one of them should get punishment in that scenario. Rand Paul also plagiarized. I forget the name of the movie now. But they said he did the exact same thing with another movie. Deliver not Deliverance. Whatever. Do doesn't matter. Another movie he went to Wikipedia and used like the lines for that movie. So he did do this multiple times. But my theory on that is I don't think he's doing it himself. I think it's his speechwriters or people who work for him, his staffers that are doing it. And I guarantee you he's going to have a talk with them and say, stop, <laughs> don't do that. Change it up. Don't uh, let me get caught continuing going to Wikipedia. But look, in the final, uh, you know, decision here, I I'm leaning slightly more towards uh, Rand Paul's side. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. And I think there's many more substantive things to talk about. Like, for example, the fact that Rand Paul wants to abolish the EPA and the Department of Education uh, and the FDA and almost every single government agency that's incredibly important. Talk about that more.